Hi, I'm Eric Olson. This is the FLW Walleye Tour, as well as I'm an assistant product manager with Evernerd Outboards. And we're here in the Sturvent Evernerd facility, and we're going to tell you about the new 135HL from Evernerd. Really, when you're looking at an outboard engine, people want to have several things, obviously clean, quiet, and fuel efficient. Let's take a look at how those things are really packed into this engine, as well as a lot of other features that the other guys don't have, and we'll show you exactly how that happens. Now, if you're looking for clean and quiet, let's talk about quiet first. We use clean pack technology, and what that really means is a place for everything and everything in its place. Obviously, you can see the very compact size of the engine itself. We're looking at soundproofing underneath the cowling that gives you that real quiet sound. Let's talk a little bit about how we do that. We've got the baffling here. We bend the sound waves as the engine's sound comes out. That's where the air comes in. Bending that sound wave cuts the sound off. At low end, we have a muffler here, and what that does is it basically tones the sound down again at low end idle for that pontoon side of the fence when you're looking at having the ultimate quiet cruise. Now, let's look at the actual sticker, the 135HO. What does that mean? Well, that means it's a maximum amount of horsepower you can get out of a 135 horse engine, which is 148 horsepower. Easily able to compete with any of the four strokes in the market for high end or wide open throttle, but yet with that 135HO being a two stroke direct injected engine, our low end hole shot, so you can get that boat on plane, get heavy loads on plane, water skiing, inner tubing, it'll get you up on plane instantaneously and way faster than any of the other four strokes on the market. Definitely going to be a bonus for you when you're looking to put it on your next boat. Now let's really start talking about performance issues and things that really are going to be important. We've got the gear case itself. This is a high performance gear case on this particular 20 inch model. We call it the lightning gear case. It's designed for somebody wanting that little bit of extra. If you're repowering your boat, let's say, or you're looking to put it on a bass boat or maybe a flats boat, that's really going to give you that extra couple miles an hour. Obviously for the ultimate HO experience, that's really what it's going to give you. If you're looking for a multi-species boat, if you're looking for a, maybe a little bit larger boat or pontoon, we're putting on the standard offshore gear case, which is going to give you the ultimate durability and the ultimate performance for that package. Another interesting aspect of this engine is weight. Now when you're talking about repowers or putting them on lighter weight boats, weight is definitely going to be a consideration. And the 135HO definitely fits that category. In fact, the 135HO is right in competition with the competitor's four-stroke 115 horsepower engines. So if you're looking at repowering, this is truly one of the ultimates. In fact, if you're looking and comparing it to the 150 category competitive four strokes, we're blowing them out of the water. We're as much as 40 to 80 pounds lighter weight in a comparable horsepower and speeds that you're gonna get with the four strokes. Let's talk about clean. We mentioned clean is one of the other things that's important. This particular engine, three star and European Union compliant. And what does that mean? Well, there's not another engine anywhere besides Evinrud that has both three-star and EU capabilities. Not another engine has it. What does that mean? It's the cleanest outboard in the world. Another key aspect to all Evinrud E-Tech engines, the 135HO included, is the facts of use, pinpoint oiling. And what that means for you is, you're not gonna have that smoky old two-stroke engine you used to have. And it was great to get rid of bugs, but it wasn't good to hang around in the outboard and you couldn't smell that for very long without getting a headache. This engine, putting oil when it needs it and where it needs it, and that's it. The advantage for us is we are lubricating constantly with clean oil, keeping that engine in tip-top condition, as well as burning very, very small amounts of oil. Through the direct injection process, it's really key for the Evan E-Tech to get double the fuel economy at idle. Now, if you're running a pontoon, you have your pontoon up at the lake, what's important for you? You don't want to have to haul fuel down to the lake all the time. You're going to get double the fuel economy at idle. Very important. Comparing that to the competitive four strokes, we own that business. The other thing that's important for just about anyone these days, they want to have maximum charging power. But the advantage with the Evinrd E-Tech and the 135HO, we're using a magneto alternator. And basically what that is, it's a flywheel with magnets, coil of wire underneath it. We don't need a belt. And through the spinning of the flywheel, over those coils of wires, what we end up with is maximum charging power. In fact, 133 amps of output from this without a belt, which means no maintenance, and the maximum power of 50 amps to charge your batteries. Whether you're running max out in the pontoon with all your accessories, stereos, and refrigerators, or you're on your multi-species boat and you're running electronics, GPSs, bilge pumps, and everything else, you're gonna have maximum capability to keep those batteries charged. So when you're looking at the 135HO, you truly are looking at the ultimate outboard for powering your pontoon, multi-species, or bay and flats boats. Check it out next time you wanna look for an outboard.